Okay, what do we got next here? This is oh, so Caitlin Clark. Have you been following Caitlin Clark? A little bit, because I had to. So this is the video of her getting uh, checked in her W, her latest WNBA game. Then we're gonna play Matt Barnes's response to it. And Clark. Nice. Got a little I mean, cross shot there. Nice. Called. The question is, will they call it? You know, basketball needs shorter Dude, shorts. Here, here's the problem with this: is I don't the hostility toward her. She's made your sport relevant for the first time in history. This is the, I mean, we would never talk about the WNBA unless something stupid happened on this show. The only other time, the, the, you know, the time that the WNBA was the I second think most relevant in history, the second most amount of media traction the WNBA got, other than Caitlin Clark, was when Brittany, Gr Brittany Griner got arrested in Russia. Yeah, but that wasn't about actual exactly. gameplay. Exactly. So I think it's really smart. I think I think a lot of people are missing the big the bigger thing here is every time that somebody assaults Kate and Clark, it ends up on your podcast, it ends up on everybody else's yep. podcast, and they talk about the WNBA. Nobody's talking about how much points she scored in that game. How many did she score? I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't all I know is that this woman that assaulted a few other women and got kicked out of the league, I know all about this incident yeah. now. You know, I, I, it's just like the Kardashians. And Everything how many I know people about are talking about the WNBA? They should come out and just shank Kate Killen. <laughs> no, not kill her. They okay, need to keep assaulting her. Yeah. Shank her and then let her score 40 points after the shank. And then it'll be on every news. It'll be on ABC. Well, and they'll be talking about the WNBA. It'll be the best publicity ever. The, the there, more they beat the shit out of her. There is a lot of bitterness toward this woman, though, from other, pe from other players in the league. And I'm like, dude. You're biting the hand that feeds you right now. This is the golden goose, you know? Are they or are they making a bigger goose? Or do you think it's the WWE? WWE? I, it's fake. Like, yeah, they're, they're I mean, they're intentionally riling people up. Look, if you're making 70K a year and your male component is making 300K a year, because I'm not saying they're making a million, because obviously the NBA woman that assaulted the other woman. minimum is like 750000 Yeah, if that's the pay differential and it's because people don't pay attention to yeah. your sport, what's the one thing people are paying attention to? Caitlin Clark. Yeah. So if she gets assaulted during a game, people are like, oh, look. And if they can make it a race thing, if mm -hmm. they can make it whatever thing sells in the media, here's more people are going to go watch her. More people are like, Caitlin Clark's my girl. I'm going to go watch her shooting three points. She the is more become they the, talk about it. The, the MAGA spokeswoman. W would you hit it? Would you fuck Caitlin Clark? Yeah. I, I don't think she's bad looking. I know everyone says she looks like a dude. I don't think she's a bad looking Any girl. athletic woman is not going to get fat. That's, That's my main MO. Don't get fat. Don't get fat. Because if I'm going to fuck you, I'm going to try to marry you. And I don't want you to get fat. It's good words to live by there. Uh, here's Matt Barnes. He, so do you know who Matt? Did you follow basketball at all? No. Matt Barnes was known for being a little bit of a thug on the court. Uh, and he was the guy. He was never a stud. But you would send him in to foul the shit out of people when you wanted to send him. He's a goon. Yeah, he's the goon. Yeah, exactly. And uh, here's what he had to say about it. And this is probably you're not going to find a better source on this. And you're not going to find a better take on it either. There's a hot topic uh, going on right now. Caitlin Clark says she got cheap shotted against the sky. I mean, throughout the season, she's been getting beat up. Hard screens, elbows, knocked down. It is what it is. She's not the first. She won't be the last. My issue and my question is, where the fuck are her teammates at? Where are y'all at? Where are the mm -hmm. rest of the Indiana mm -hmm. Fever at? I've seen a couple girls smirk when she's got knocked down, half-assed to pick her up. Like, y'all supposed to protect the asset, protect the star. Damn. And all this is the team. She's the star. You always protect your star. I was someone who protected the stars. You fuck they with are Cole, fucking her up. CP, mm -hmm. Blake, list goes on. I'm. A, it, it's going to be a problem because you guys are supposed to be a family. And you wonder why you sit at the bottom of the league right now is because y'all don't protect each other, man. Coach don't do shit about it. Players don't shoot, do shit about it. Y'all should be ashamed of it. But the rest of the league is going to continue to test her. And that's what they're supposed to do. It's your guys' fucking job to have her back and have each other's back. Got to do better, ladies. I think I there's agree. bitterness on her own team, though. I think... Because uh, here's my thing, dude. I played competitive sports my whole life. Um, up until, obviously, my early 20s. But I played competitive sports my whole life. Early, early if, 20s. Early, early 20s, <laughs> yes. I, I was not a college athlete, to make that clear. If somebody would have hard fouled one of my friends like that or one of my teammates, we're all going to beat the shit out of them. That was uh, high school, all of it. That we were going, It was going to be a fight. Uh, look, I get the game's physical and whatnot, but intentional flagrant fouls like that there's going to be a problem and they don't even try to help her up. They just let, they let these women knock her around. Yeah. And so it makes me wonder it, that that's what makes me wonder if this is more than just showmanship because her own teammates aren't even trying to take her side on this. I think there's legitimately some resent there 
a resentment there because she's come in and she's out of nowhere just been the biggest star in the league. And yeah, like they said, it's this straight white lady that, uh, and you know, the majority of the league's black dykes. So it's like, I'm not, say, take that. Pat McAfee had to come out and apologize because he called her a white bitch. I just said black. He dykes. said that out of context. I, I, I saw that the way that they're saying I heard that it. he was yeah. not, he wasn't calling her a white bitch. No, well, he I didn't don't call know her that at all. He said, well, you have this white bitch that's tearing the league up. He did not. I it don't was not know. It makes financial sense for her teammates to support her. It makes a lot of financial sense to make her an icon because that's going to make you more money by being on the same team. Right. Whether you have grudges against her, somebody's going to be in your ear and being like, hey, Caitlin Clark is a golden goose. Shut Everyone's up. Everyone's talking take about the money. Shut up. Yeah. Help her because you're you're blessed just to be on the team with her. Right. You're going to make more money just by being Scottie Pippen yeah. than just being some nobody in the WNBA. And I think I think his take is a smart take, but at the same time, people are motivated by money. Right. And if you're following your dream and your dream is basketball and you're a woman and like Caitlin Clark's making what, seventy three thousand dollars a year. I don't even know. I make much. more I make more than she does just yeah. by being a welder. So the, uh, the women on her team aren't making nearly as much. But now money's rushing into the WNBA. You wouldn't you wouldn't protect that. You wouldn't right. support that. Right. Why? Well, have you seen the other girl that that's a rookie that's blown up too, Cameron Brink? Uh, no, but I've been watching that Angel Girl do her thing. Whoa, look at that the Viking girl. She's like six five. Yeah. Wow, she looks like she'll stab me in my sleep, dude. She will f- probably fucking murder you. Yeah. But no, I don't she's... know. I think I think it's a money thing. I think it's like when Tiger injured golf. I think the more that we talk about it, Michael the better Phelps. it is. Yep. Yeah. Michael Phelps. Yeah. The yeah. whole thing. These irrelevant sports that sometimes you just get superstar athletes that. Uh, yeah, up. and what sells best in America? Race. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.